perfect. Welcome in. Hey. How y'all doing? Cooking Sunday dinner, y'all. Guess what I'm cooking? Y'all would not guess what I'm cooking, you guys. How's everybody doing tonight? So how y'all doing tonight? Let me bring y'all a little bit in, a little closer. How y'all doing? We making some um, smother steak today, y'all. Um, I really enjoy. Give me just a second, y'all. Hold on. I really, 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 I really, really, really enjoyed the um. The smothered chicken we did this past week. And I was like, mmm, I got to try that with some steak. <laughs> Somebody said they beat like a rug. Oh, Lord. Not beat like a rug. <laughs> Anyways, I was like, I got to try this. Um, thank y'all. I got to try making the uh, smothered chicken that we did uh, this past week. I got to try making it with some steak. So we finna make smothered steak, mashed potatoes, asparagus. And we got some um, some croissants. So that's what we get ready to do. So I got my other other phone recording it so that I can show you guys a short video of how I'm doing it. That way, um, you guys can go back and just check real quick. So you don't, if you don't want to, have to come back through this entire live and see how I made it. Okay. So I hope y'all doing well tonight. I'm doing great. We just got back home actually. So let's go ahead and get this started. I'm gonna take this necklace off because. It's fake, and I can't wear fake jewelry on my neck too long because it'll start making my neck itch. And we've been out for several hours, and so this got to come off. I can't wear, let me put this up. I can't wear fake jewelry too long on my neck. That's why y'all never see me with chains because if it ain't real, I can't wear it too long because it make my neck start itching. So, thank you. Thank y'all. It was really nice outside today. And so I said, let me go ahead and put on a little makeup and stuff and look a little cute. Um, so this is smoked paprika. So we're going to just drizzle it on here. Okay. Just like that. We're going to do each side. We got some Montreal steak seasoning. 
I'm going to be using some Montreal steak seasoning. And these are New York. We're going to season them good, too. A little heavy. Okay. These are also um, New York strip steaks. These are New York grass-fed New York strip steaks that I got them for a good price. I got two for 13 at my local market, which was a good price for some grass-fed. So then that's garlic powder I put on there, and then I'm going to throw on some um, onion powder. All right, then I'm just gonna pat it in. Oh, I'm happy I'm doing the other side because I never even push play on this. So that's one side. Okay. We're gonna flip them over. And now we're gonna do the other side. Seasoning my meat first so that it can have time to marinate for a little while. Just a little bit. Not too long because I got stuff to do. So this is going to be a real quick and easy meal. Um, and yeah, so we're going to add on that garlic powder on the other side. Garlic powder. Okay. I'm go ahead and just add on onion powder now then we're going to add on some smoked paprika okay and then we're going to add on montreal steak seasoning montreal steak seasoning has um a lot of salt in it so you don't need to, that's the only salt you need. Then we're just gonna rub it in. We're gonna rub it in, just like that. Y'all see? <laughs> we're gonna rub it in. Okay. And then I'm gonna put these to the side and just let them marinate for a, for a little while while we go ahead and peel our potatoes. I'm gonna make some homemade mashed potatoes. All right. Y'all hear Isabel whining? Don't pay no attention. Y'all know how Isabel is. <laughs> she upstairs with Clifton and uh, Elijah, so who knows what's going on up there. Her and Elijah fight like cats and dogs. They've been working my nerves all day, y'all, especially Isabel. Working it, honey. So let me go ahead and put these seasonings away. Okay. So, yes, I'm going to just go ahead and Wipe this down a little bit over here. Wipe this up. My mama should be coming over here, y'all. She said she's gonna come eat with us today. Today, she feel like it. So, all right. So I'm gonna sit here with y'all, and we're gonna go ahead and uh, peel these potatoes. Okay. So I got some Yukon Gold potatoes. These are Yukon Gold. Yukon Gold. Oh, excuse me. Let me get me some water. I got some ice. I need some water. So I'm going to peel them. I got about, I think it's about a two, two pound bag. What y'all think? Two, three pound bag. So I'm going to just go ahead and peel these and then put some water in them. Start boiling them. Then when they start boiling them when they start boiling not start boiling but i'm just gonna peel them put some water and put them on the stove once i put them on the stove then we're gonna go ahead and sear our steaks i'm gonna turn the fire on we're gonna sear the steaks on both sides then we're gonna finish we're gonna do the rest i'm gonna tell y'all what we're gonna do next okay so that being said let me show them this okay turn that off all right put that there and now let me pull up 
me go ahead and pull up some comments and see what y'all see what's tea. What's going on? How y'all doing? While we peel these potatoes. All right. So how's everybody doing today? No, oh, oh, let me get some water. Ooh, let me get some water. Gotta have water. Water, water, water. Cause honey, your girl be thirsty. If you ain't pregnant, then you don't know what I'm going through. I'm telling you, I'm always thirsty, guys. I could never drink enough water. As soon as I drink it, it go right through me. And then I just need more right away. Woo! Thank you, Jesus. Yes, happy Sunday. Happy Sunday, y'all. How y'all doing? I would have... I'm trying to get back in the habit of cooking on Sundays because I feel like Saturday is more of a day for like, you know, maybe eating like a fast food meal or whatever. But Sunday, you need to cook for Sunday. That's how I just feel. And so I'm like, I'm going to cook me a meal. Cook me and my family a nice meal today. I didn't cook yesterday or the day before. So I actually, we actually ate out twice yesterday and the day before. Yeah, the day before we had the burgers and then I, I and then I came home that night I had leftover tacos that me and Elijah ate for lunch on Thursday and then yesterday I had me some Jersey Mike's a Jersey Mike sub and in the evening time I got hungry again but I had already eaten out and I'm like nah you don't want to go eat out again so I had my son go in the kitchen and make me a smoothie and fun fact, you guys, I put arugula, I put arugula in my smoothie and it was so good. You guys, it was so good. He put arugula in my smoothie. My smoothie had, he put like collagen powder in there. He put um, a nice handful of arugula. He put some blueberries, frozen blueberries, frozen strawberries and mangoes. And he put a little milk in there. I think and that's all he put in there. And y'all, it was good. And my baby really enjoyed it. My baby really enjoyed it. Um, I went right to sleep after that and had a wonderful evening. So I'm starting to notice, uh, you know, me being pregnant and everything, I'm starting to notice that when I eat, when I don't eat fast food, like even if I'm cooking something that's not like the healthiest, if I cook it, it really won't, I, I don't really get heartburn. But if I eat like fast food, um, like a fast food burger, some fried chicken, some fries, anything like that. If I eat that like more than like two days or more than like, more than like two days or whatever, I end up getting heartburn. But if I don't, and fun fact for those that are, are pregnant, I have a trick. I found out a trick and I actually did this with my daughter, but when I was pregnant with my daughter, but I forgot. If you are experiencing heartburn and you're pregnant, try salsa water. Try mineral water. I take, I drink the Pellegrino mineral water and it like, it, it like basically creates a bubble in your stomach and it makes you burp. And so, cause sometimes it be gas that be showing up like it's heartburn, but it really be gas. And so, um, drink the mineral water because it's alkaline and it's going to, it's going to uh, even out the acidity in your stomach. So if you are pregnant, drink that uh, mineral water. Now, don't don't substitute that for water. No, I'm not single. I'm married. I have a husband. He's upstairs. Um, don't substitute the um, don't substitute the mineral water, the seltzer water, the alkaline. Don't substitute that for real water because you will be severely dehydrated. But you can have like a cup or two of that with some ice in it or something if you're pregnant. When you're experiencing heartburn, I promise you it works. I promise you it works, y'all. Okay? So try that. 
Do I make a living making content? Um, yeah, I actually do. I make a living making content. I actually do. I've been making content for several years, though. I didn't just start. I've been making content for almost six years. So I didn't just start making content. Yeah, my husband works, though. Um, but I, this, is, this is how I make my bread and butter. Yeah, for now, anyway, until I go, go back to school and get it, finish my degree. Because I'm actually majoring in social work. And so once I finish my degree, y'all won't see me as much. But this will work. This will do for now. Do you have your baby registry? Not yet, but don't worry. The month is not going to end and I not have it. I'm going to have my baby registry before the month is up. And so I'm, I'm working on that this week. So don't worry. I already have set a date of when I'm going to put it out. So before March is up, I will have you guys the baby registry. Okay. So don't even worry. Speaking of that, speaking of baby club, baby, you guys, there's a nice, cause you know, we moved to a nice neighborhood. There's a really nice thrift store over here. Y'all. I didn't even, it was so nice in there. I didn't even know it was a thrift store cause it didn't say like Goodwill or it, it didn't, it didn't have a word thrift on it. So I walks in there like, Oh, what's this? You know, I'm thinking it's like a regular old like shopping store. It smelled good in there. Honey, it smelled like it smelled like some like some nice candles in there. I'm like, it smelled good in here. So I, I I get to look and I'm like, is this a thrift store? So then I asked the worker. I said, is this a thrift store? And then she's like, yeah, this is a thrift store. So, honey, the thrift store. FYI, if you want to if you want to shop at the thrift store, go in a nice neighborhood. Go to the thrift store in a really 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 nice neighborhood because they be having nice stuff in there. You know what I'm saying? And so I went in there. They had so many baby clothes for a dollar. A dollar. They had a bunch of cute onesies in there and stuff for one dollar. I said, uh-huh. You know I'm coming back in here because, you know, when the babies are young, a year and under, and even, I mean, even when they get a little bit older, but when they, they grow fast, when you when you have your baby, the, the babies grow real, real fast. So if I don't, listen, I don't mind getting no thrift store onesies and and, a, and some, a couple of outfits and stuff from the thrift store if they are a dollar a piece. I don't mind doing that at all because the baby going to grow out of the clothes so fast anyway. And then I'm going to be mad because I'm going to have to sell the clothes or give them away. That's what I've always done. I've always sold the clothes or given them away because, you know, my kids are seven, almost eight, seven years apart. So why am I holding on to some baby clothes for eight years for, <laughs> you know, so I don't have anything from Isabel or Elijah because they're so far apart. You know, I haven't had a baby. Isabel will be seven in July. So um, I'm like, uh, yes, Donisha's going to the thrift store to get honey, to get the onesies and all that. I sure am. Come home, wash them real good and fold them up, put them in the drawer. Sure will. Cause the baby don't stay in them long. So I'm not finna be out here spending thousands of dollars on baby clothes and stuff like that. You know, I mean more to you if you have it like that, but during this time and age of my life, y'all, I'm just trying to I'm trying to put my money where it really needs to go. And for me, that's investments. That's real estate. You know what I'm saying? That's um, stocks, you know, stuff like that. But the stuff that you need, like everyday stuff you need, like as far as clothes and stuff and furniture. Stuff, I'm not listen. I'm not about to be spending, spending no fortune on that stuff. Like my mindset has just completely changed. And so I'm like, listen, if it look cute. I'll get it used. I don't mind. I'm even going to go on offer up like legit. I'm like, listen, <laughs> I'm like, I, I'm, I'm even going to go on offer up to look for some stuff like no, no joke. Sure will. I told my husband because we, we still don't have a dining room table yet and I ain't been in a rush to buy it. So, but it's time to get it. I'm definitely going to get it. And so I was like, listen, let's go on offer up and see what tables they got because we don't have a big dining room space like a big eating space over here. it's small so all we need is a cute little small table you feel me and four chairs we don't need nothing crazy you know nothing huge or luxurious you know what i'm saying and so that was another one of my goals moving in here i'm like listen this is a town home we're living in and we're renting it like this is not our final destination so I'm not going to go out and spend thousands of dollars anymore on like furniture and stuff like that when I know we're going to move from here. And I'm probably going to want when we finally get settled into like an actual home that we purchase, I'm going to want to go buy really nice, probably big pieces that will last a long time. So I'm like, mm -mm. your girl, I'm not I'm not <laughs> I'm 
not finna go crazy. I'm not. You know, get some stuff that if some stuff can be used, they don't everything they ain't gotta be brought, brought brand spanking new. We are cooking um smothered steak. We're making smothered steaks and we're making mashed potatoes and gravy and some asparagus. That's what I'm making, y'all. So I'm right now I'm peeling my potatoes because my mama was I was talking to my mama earlier and she was like, why don't you go ahead and just get some um Go ahead and just get the, the box mashed potatoes. Just get the ones that is already um, powdery because so, you can, you know, finish it quick. It'll get done quick. Hold on. I think my mom at the door. Hold on. Elijah! Open the door for Nana! Okay. My mom's here, y'all. But anyways, she was like, why don't you just go ahead and get the box kind? I'm like, I don't like getting the box mashed potatoes because they salty. They, I'm like, that's too much salt. You know what I'm saying? So I would rather eat my, if I'm going to eat mashed potatoes at home. Hold on, mama. Hurry up, bubba. If I'm going to eat mashed potatoes, y'all, and in my kitchen, I, they got to be real. Like, I don't like peeling potatoes. It's tedious. It gets on my nerves. But I, I have to have a real potato. I cannot eat the box kind because to me, they be salty. Like, <laughs> to me, they be salty. You know? It's, to me, it's just nothing like a homemade mashed, mashed potato. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? But I'm almost done. I've been talking so much, so I'm almost done with these. And then we can go ahead and heat up the stove. So I hope y'all having, I hope y'all having a good day. A good day. Okay. Mama, you ain't even been in here for 50 seconds. Are you already trying to put your hands on somebody? I sure will. He talking about I'm looking like somebody. Oh, I like that shirt. Who gave you that shirt? It's the same person gave you your shirt. Huh? T-Perka. She gave you yours, Mama something, your T-shirt. What did it say? T-Perka. What, what shirt did she give me? Um, The one you said, Mama something. Your gray shirt that I gave you when she gave you with the coffee cup. Mama. Oh, you never gave me a shirt. You only gave me the coffee cup. Merle, I gave you that, that doggone gray shirt that you wear that says something best, Mama. No, you said it's gray? It's gray, something like that, white, gray, something. Uh-uh. Uh, no, some I just bought some shirts no, of my own. No, no, but no, no, no. no. She, it's, it's, it's either it's, it's a dark gray. I gave you mm -hmm. a shirt no. with the coffee cup. No, yes, no, no, you didn't. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No, you didn't, Mom. Yeah, I did. I, I'm I not. No, I'm not lying. I, oh girl, Lord. I got a couple of clothes. You know, I know what I got. <laughs> okay, but I'm telling you what she got. You what she gave me. Yeah, I, I, I never got it. it. No. Yes, you, you did. I gave it to you with the coffee cup. This no. You said I didn't give you the coffee cup, and you found the coffee cup. I gave you a shirt too. She said no. You shirt. no. It, it wasn't the coffee cup you didn't give me. It was the uh. You forgot to give me the spoon in the in the in the coaster. Girl, and, and then I you gave finally gave it to me. I gave that whole set to you in a box. But when you gave it to me, you didn't give me a shirt. You had the. I gave you the shirt too. You didn't. I'm girl, telling you. Girl, stop it. Mama, I'm telling you. And I'm telling you, Donnie, you don't be paying attention to nothing. Mama, it ain't me. Donisha, it be I you that don't be paying attention. It. I no. see you wearing No, it. you ain't see me wearing it. Yes, because Tierra looked at her video and she said, oh, Donnie's just wearing the shirt. Yes, I gave it to you. So go look. Okay, let her, ask her what video so I can go look. Shoot. Because I don't have no it shirt. The best, it, it says, uh, uh, number one mom. It's a t-shirt. Mm -mm. You gotta, you gotta tell her, Mama. You gotta tell her to, um, tell her to, to, to text me the video that I wore that shirt on, cause I don't have it. Girl, some okay, I'll, I'll do that, but some No, Cece, my mom is not angry with me. That's just how she talk. Oh, I'm loud. Period. That's what people say about me, cause like sometimes I talk just like that, and people be like, "Why is she mad?" or "Why, why is she mad at her kids?" Well, she's not mad. That's just how she talks. She's not mad. <laughs> My mom just talk like that. People don't understand that, though. Yeah, she's not mad at all. That's just how she talk. <laughs> you know, she's not mad. Okay, y'all, we done. Yeah, my Nana's loud, and that's where I be getting it from. They be saying the same thing about me. Why are you yelling at your kids? Why are you mad? Why are you so aggressive? I'm not. That's just how I talk. <laughs> and 
Exactly. She sounds aggressive. We talk aggressive, like very assertive. She does. She does sound aggressive. But that's literally how she talks. She's not mad at all. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, thank you so much, Roxy. Okay, y'all. So let me just real quick take the ones, take the potatoes on this napkin. And then I'm gonna wash them off, put the skins in here, wash them off, put some we'll put them in some water, and then we're gonna go ahead and get started on the steaks. Um, searing the steaks on the stove. We're gonna turn the oven on. Y'all let me know. I'm a I'm willing, I'm open for suggestions. How what temperature would you put your steak on in the oven? Because steak is different from chicken. And so when I did the smothered chicken, I put it on 375. So I'm gonna sear the steaks on both sides first before I put them in the oven. So I know steak don't need to cook as long as chicken. So how, what degrees would you put the steaks on in the oven? Like after you sear them on both sides on the stove, what temperature would you put your oven on? Because I'm fine. That's what I, I'm asking them because I put the chicken on 375. Okay, did you put some holes in that? Which you ain't got to. They don't need they no, little, yeah, they don't need to have no holes yeah, in that. Did you, you, you still got a toothache? It's coming and going, but it's okay. Okay. I'm getting ready to sear the steaks right now. Three, okay, 350, 300 has to be too low. I think 300 is too low. Three, 275 is way too low too as well. Unless you want to, once you, they don't, these are, these are ribeyes, right? No, those are uh, New York strips. They, okay. I know they don't, they don't take long. I know, so that's why I'm, so maybe I should do 375 then. Yeah, 375, they yeah. don't take long. Yeah, because they're not going to take long. Mm -hmm. okay. They're going to be real tender. Okay. You, you put them in gravy, right? Yeah, I'm putting okay. them in the gravy. Okay, you're going to sear them. And then put the gravy on them in the vegetables yeah, and put them in the oven. Yeah, you can sear them and yeah, and then yeah, do that. But you ain't got to put them in the, you ain't got to put them in the oven. No, they're going in the oven. Okay, I understand that. They're okay. getting seared on the stove. They have to go in the oven so that that gravy can marinate in them. Mm -hmm. They got to go in the oven. Mm -hmm. I'm doing them just how I did the smothered chicken. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's going to be real easy, real quick. It ain't going to take long. No, it ain't. It'll be about like 30 minutes. No, that's why I said, Mama, can you um do me a favor? Can you wash this out real quick and put, give me some water? Uh, wash these off real quick, put, put them in some water, and then let me turn the stove on so they can um, cook. I apologize, you guys. How y'all guys doing? I oh, got to see the little what? bit of my head because I didn't say hi when I came in. Oh, room. okay. I'm like, what you did this time? I ain't come in. I ain't say hello when I came in the building. Oh. Hey, Tashana. Okay, go ahead and wash them off for me, please. Um, can you, where my spray at? How you doing, sis? Tashana. Hey, be, in, be encouraged, Faith Ministries. Hey. They saying hi, Nana. Hey, y'all. Oh, on, okay. On the stove. Yo, no, you right. Give them to me because I don't want you to step on that. Okay, y'all. So we got the potatoes here in some water. And we're going to go ahead and turn them on like a medium high heat. Put a little salt in it. And we're going to go ahead and let them do what they do. And then I'm going to turn y'all to the stove. We're going to see. I don't have a regular cast iron. This is all I got. I didn't give you one of my cast irons. No. You said, you said, you said, hell no, you can't have my cast iron. Oh, I said that. Yes, you did. You said, okay. hell no. <laughs> I got a this is all I got, y'all. So don't say nothing. And you know what? That means? <laughs> I got one like that. It's the color of this. It's the color of this. Look. I got one like that. It's the color of this. Yeah. And it's this big. Look. It's this big. Oh, okay. Just like that. But it's like I this. hope you feel better, uh, Tashana. Okay, y'all. What's wrong with your sugar? She said she's just a little under the weather. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so what are we doing with these? Okay, so let me see. Okay, I'm trying I can to... take these rubber bands on my back. <laughs> For what? Girl, I keep my rubber bands on my back. Girl, when I get to wrapping something up, I can put a rubber band around it. <laughs> Especially the dry goods. How many are you cooking? All, All of them. Girl, I'm finna tear them asparagus up. Okay. I'm gonna beat them asparagus out the frame. <laughs> For real. Gonna beat him out the frame. All right, y'all. So we get ready to fry the steaks. So I got me some avocado oil. 
Right, chill? Can y'all see? I think so. And I'm gonna just pour that in there like that. We're gonna get it nice and hot. We want it on high, like a medium high heat, because we're just trying to get a sear on them. You feel me? So yeah, we're gonna get a sear. Okay. Let me go ahead and turn the oven on. We're gonna preheat the oven to 375. Okay, we gotta cook these potatoes quick, y'all. Cause when I tell you this is gonna be a quick meal, it's gonna be a quick meal, y'all. Where's this bill at? Downstairs with her daddy. I don't know why she's crying. I know I heard a dog. I did too. Hold up. I'll be right back. Because I know the devil lying. y'all so we got the steaks right here let me go ahead and um get a glass there here wash it out we're gonna put the glassware over here this is almost heated up once it gets nice y'all Y'all listen, I'm not no professional at frying no at searing no steaks. So let me just ask, what heating point do you want? Do I want this oil? Like how hot do I need to get it to get a nice sear on the steaks? Medium. Like, just let me know. Cause you know, I just wait till I see a little smoke. Medium. And that's when I throw mine in. Medium. I just wait till I see a little smoke. So how y'all do y'all's? <laughs> I'm doing good. Mm -hmm. Mama said medium is right. Well, well, I don't know what medium means. What's, what does medium mean? <laughs> like, how do I know when it's medium? Oh, medium. You see medium right there? Medium is, is too low, ain't it? Hell I'm just trying to get a nice pat out. Medium. medium. I'm not turning it on medium. Okay, what do you, what you got on high? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. We're going to burn them real okay, quick. Okay, don't sit there and ask somebody for the advice and then you do it the way you want to do it. <laughs> We gonna burn them. Okay, then burn them. <laughs> we gonna we gonna burn them, y'all. We gonna burn them steaks. What you mean? We gonna get a nice burnt on them. We gonna get a nice boink. Oh Lord, it's smoke. It's popping. Okay, it's ready. It's ready. You see? It's smoking. It's ready. Ooh, it's ready. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna turn them a little bit low. Okay, you right. You right, you right. You right, you right. Okay, so now we're just gonna take the steak. And we're just gonna drop it. We're gonna do two at a time. No, we're gonna do three at a time. We got we're gonna do three at a time. Ooh, that smells good. Okay. Get a nice sear on them. Yeah. My. Like my husband say, yeah. My. Y'all was right. Y'all was right. Medium was right. You right. Medium. You right. I forgot I had to fry more steak. You put them on. You put it on too high. You gonna burn the oil for the rest of them. <laughs> y'all know what y'all talking about. <laughs> Look, they already burned. She ain't listening. She ain't listening to nobody, y'all. They already burned. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. 
doing. I'm, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Okay, Mama, can you chop up my vegetables now? That would be great. Um, there should be like a bell pepper in one of those bags. And then can you grab an onion? In the refrigerator, we're just going to do bell peppers and onions. That's it. Let me get you this. Wash this off for you. You go ahead and cut on this since you didn't already cut it on it and messed it up. Okay, um, then one whole onion, and then in this bag over here, it should be a bell pepper. I see. You know, I got this from um, these this five pound apple from Grocery Outlet Organic One. Grocery Outlet for like five dollars. Yeah, I got me some bread. Wasn't I need to do my hot sauce? Mm hmm. Bridget said she ready to eat. <laughs> yes, okay. Let's turn it over. Oh, yes. Oh, man. Them grill marks? Ooh! I gotta get a close up on that. So that was like what, two minutes? <laughs> that was like a close up. Okay. Let's see if we can do that, get that same. Let's see if we can do it again. Oh, yes, honey. Yes. Look at that. That's the way to be playing that. Oh, yes, y'all. I'm going to give y'all a close-up of this. Y'all got to see this. Huh? Um, I got them onions from... Grocery Outlet. Nice onions. Grocery Outlet or Fred Myers. Okay. Let me show y'all. I want y'all to see it close up. Hold on. I got to fix this screen. The screen got it's messed up. Let me get y'all some good light. What y'all think? Mama, say hey. Hey, y'all. How y'all doing? <laughs> What y'all think? She cutting up my veggies, y'all, for me. What y'all think? Mama, can you make sure you wash off that bell pepper because it's not clean? Did you, you had a bell pepper? Yeah, oh, I okay. did wash off this bell pepper. Where is it? Right here. Oh, okay. I washed up it and the onions. Wow. Somebody said, ready for the oven. Yes, we're going to put it in here. This thing here. And we're going to sit them to the side and we're going to do the rest of them. We're going to do the rest of them. So they ready for the oven now, y'all? I don't think I should have turned them on low. I need to turn them a little higher, y'all. No. They not browning the same. Uh -huh. The other side, they not browning the same. See? Okay, well, how you have them on the first? I like I like them to get like a, a nice okay, me real me mark. Me uh, and some of my and my some of my seasonings is coming off. That's cause okay, I, that's cause I'm not supposed to use this. All the dog on seasons and it's cooking on in the dog on pig. That's all right. It's because I'm not supposed to use this. What do you mean? That's what it's for, the griddle. <laughs> Somebody said I ate that up. <laughs> So once again, y'all, we have Montreal steak seasoning on them. Montreal steak seasoning, garlic powder, onion powder, and smoked paprika. That's all I got on them. So we got these over here. We gonna, I'm going to turn this heat up because I want them to get a nice, I want them to look like this. I don't want them to look like this. I want them to look like this. So we turn them up. We, I'm going to turn them up on a medium high because I don't want them to like, to like cook, cook. I want them to just get a nice... Bad down, you know what I'm saying? In that skillet, mix your gravy. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I do. I got the onions and stuff. I should have put them on the bottom. You're right. I should have put them on the bottom. So hold on. Let me let me do that. Y'all hold on. Let me put y'all back. Let me put y'all back. Hold on, y'all. Whoever said that, thank you very much. Okay. So I'm going to just sit these back over here real quick. Hold on. 
they can sit over there. It's fine because they're not fully cooked yet, y'all. They're going in the oven. But I'm going to go ahead and thank you, Mom. I'm going to go ahead. I got some onions. I got bell pepper and I got onions. What's Real quick. Huh? You have mushroom? I have mushroom gravy. So we good. Oh. Yeah. I got mushroom gravy. So we good. Okay. Thank you. All right. So give me this. Because I got to show it. So now we're going to take half of the onions and put them in the pot. Half of them. Put them on the bottom, I mean, in the pan. And then we're going to take half of the bell peppers. And we're going to put them. What's going on here? Honey, don't play with me. Yeah, play with your mama, not me. Okay, so then we're going to put half of them here. Okay. Then we're going to put the steaks on top. So then we're going to take the steaks and put the steaks right on top. Just like that. Okay? That's what we're going to do. All right. Can you put that in the sink for me, please? Careful, it's hot. <laughs> Thank you. All right. So now, I think we're ready to flip the rest of these. We're going to go ahead and flip it. Oh, yes. That's what I'm looking for. I need that burnt. Yes, honey. Yes. I'm going to show y'all these in a minute. That's what I'm looking for. That's what I'm looking for. Oh, oh. Oh, that's what I'm looking for. That's what I like. So, you know, I like taking advice and everything, but sometimes you just know what you're doing. So, yes, that's I'm looking for that little in-between charred burnt look before they go in the oven. That's what I'm looking for. That's it right there. Let me show y'all. Let me show you. This is what we're looking for right here. How I turn it around. This is it. We're looking for that char. So really, you see I have it on a medium high. We can turn it off now because now we good. So we're looking for that char mark. You feel me? We got the bell so pepper and the onion there, on the bottom. You put that in there. You put all the seasoning and all the oils and everything in that. Um, no, I'm good. I don't want burnt um, garlic. It's cool. Oh, <laughs> it's cool. It's oh, cool. You got garlic in there? I got garlic in there. Oh, okay. I'm good. Okay. Yeah. So now we could just go ahead and. Can I have that dingley piece? It's not done yet, Mama. It's not done. No, it ain't there. She talking about can I have? Mama said, can I have that dangling piece? <laughs> I said, Mama, it's not done yet. <laughs> okay, that one needs just a little bit more. That one is ready. Okay. So here we go, y'all. Yeah, they're going to cook real nice. Can you give me the aluminum foil, please? Yeah. Aluminum foil. It's in the pantry. Okay. That's what we got. Mm-hmm. Yes, honey. Some of y'all mad because y'all ain't got yet. Some of y'all real mad right now. I hope I hope your day gets better for you. Why did you mad? Because they hungry, maybe. Maybe they hungry. I'd be mad too if I was hungry and could, if I wanted some of this and couldn't get none. I feel you. Okay. So now we're gonna get to the we're gonna get to the fun part. Ooh, you got that heavy duty uh, foil. Yes, honey, from the uh. Mama said you got that heavy duty foil. That's from the uh uh. What's it from um? Costco. Costco. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. So let's put the rest of the onions on. Don't you put too much seasoning in that. It ain't salty, is it? Hell yeah, go ahead. <laughs> That's that Montreal steak. Don't worry, we're going to even it out. You don't need nothing else on that. Okay. I mean, the garlic kind of tastes good, a little charred. Do it. <laughs> so one side would have been good then mm -hmm. with the steak seasoning. Thank God I didn't put no pink salt in there. Because mm -mm. I know that steak seasoning, it got a lot, it got a pretty good amount of salt in it. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. no. Yep. 
Okay, so I'm not putting that on yet. You can put that over there. I'm not putting it on yet. Okay, y'all. So now we're going to go ahead and do the gravy. So let's do that. Now, my mama said that, you know, let me just do a little taste with myself. It's cool. It's cool. Yeah, I'm putting that no more salt. Nothing else. No, it was never no more. Well, the. Well, the celery, the celery, no, the, well, the cream of celery, cream of celery, uh -huh. cream of celery going to have salt in it, but oh, I, okay, I got, yeah, but I'm just saying don't put more seasoning on we it. We don't, but thanks for telling, can you give me the rest of that heavy cream out the fridge? Because we're going to even it out. We're going to even it out right now. We're going to even it out. We're going to even it out. We're going to even out the salt. Wait a minute, where's the bread? Huh? We ain't got a bread. No, I have croissants. Oh. Yeah, I took it to a step higher. I took a little... I took it up a notch. You say heavy who? Heavy cream. So I thought I had heavy cream because I was going to, I'm going to show y'all what I'm going to do. You put the uh, buttermilk in your, in your mashed potatoes. So now we getting ready to make our gravy to go on top. We're going to make our gravy to go on top, the, top of these steaks before we put the steaks into the oven. Okay. So here's what we finna do. Now, I thought I had heavy cream. I don't have no heavy cream. So here's what I'm finna use. Ta -da. I'm finna use a little of this buttermilk and see, what, and see what's up. There's not a harvest. <laughs> I'm finna see what's up with this. So. It's gonna make it real tender. We gonna see what's up. So we got. Let me, I gotta film this part. I gotta film this part. Cause I really, truly, truthfully, don't know how this is gonna taste. But I'm all about experimenting. I love to experiment. So we're gonna go ahead and experiment, and we're gonna see if if it met, if I mess it up or not. We're gonna see if I end up messing it up. Let's see. We're gonna we're gonna film this part for y'all. We're gonna film this part for y'all. So we got unsalted. <laughs> Somebody said, go ahead, let's pray together. <laughs> so we're going to use cream of mushroom unsalted. Okay. We're going to use a whole cream of mushroom goes really good with um, steaks. So we're going to use a whole can of that. Whole can. Okay, we're gonna start with a half a can of cream of celery, half a can, because the Montreal steak seasoning is it, a it's enough salt, so no. So we're gonna use half a can of this cream of celery. It does it has it's lower sodium. Okay, it is lower sodium. So we're gonna mix this together. Let's see some Let's see some. Uh, can you give me a spoon? Let's see. Let's see some requests, some comments in this conversation. Do you guys think I should add buttermilk to this? If yes, tell me why. If no, tell me why. So we're going to do a half a can of cream of celery. Not a whole one. A half. Half a can. Then we're going to mix it together. We're going to mix it up. Somebody say yes. Can I get a yes? Yes, but a little. Okay. 
I see yes, but a little. Can I can somebody nobody said somebody said no buttermilk. It will even out the salt. Okay. Because I normally put heavy cream in here. I don't got none. I don't got none. We're gonna give this a tiny taste. After mixing this up, we're gonna give it a nice tiny, we're gonna give it a tiny taste. Okay? Just a little bit. Okay. You could taste a little salt in that. Not really much. But yes, I think we should add buttermilk. We're going to add a little bit. We're going to start with a little bit. We're going to start with a... The let's st let's all, start with two all, tablespoons. All the buttermilk is going to do is just make the, make the steak tender and creamy. That's all. Okay, that's two tablespoons. Let's mix that up and give it a taste. So like how you look it in your dress. Oh, thank you, Mama. Okay. Nice and breezy. Yeah, I had a wonderful time. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we're going to give it a taste. Taste it, Mama. I don't taste nothing. I don't taste nothing. It don't taste weird to me. No, what? it don't taste. Just put it on in there. Put it in there now? Put a little bit of... um. A little water. A little water? Loosen up a little bit. All right. Oh, no. I put a little, I am going to put a little water in this. But once this goes in the oven, it's going to be real soupy. This, it gets real soupy. Oh, okay. But I can't put a little water in it to even out the salt. It ain't salty. No, but the steaks have enough salt in them. Okay. Can you give me a bottle of water? I will I will put a little, Mama, Mama said put a little water in here. I am going to do that. But, but I want you guys to know this. When you put this on the steaks like this thick, don't worry about that. You don't have to use water if you don't want to. Because once this goes in the oven, thick like this on there, it's remember, it's soup. So once it cooks down, it's going to be real soupy, like real soupy, like watery. So don't, don't put too much water in it because it's going to be soupy. So we're going to put that much water. How much was that? A little two under a third a cup, mm -hmm. two tablespoons, and we're just going to mix that together. And I'm going to put a little bit more of buttermilk. That's enough. Because I'm just starting to think about buttermilk biscuits with steak, and <laughs> it sounds good to me. Mm -hmm. We're going to give it another taste, though. Where we put it in there. We're going to give it another taste. Okay. Okay, Mama, taste it again. Dang, you tasting it, tasting it. Dang. Yeah, Mama, put that on there. Yeah, okay. It tastes good. Okay, so now we're going to just... Put it all on top of the steaks like this. These steaks will be done in about 30 minutes. Yeah. Here. Thank you. Let me show y'all what we doing. Y'all see them? You could put them in the oven too? Y'all see them? Okay. Huh? You can put the in the oven too? Now we're just going to, we're going to slather it up. No, uh -uh, I'm going to cook them on the stove. Okay. We're going to just rub it in like this, y'all. Yeah, and then the steak is going to make its juice, too. Yes. You could taste that buttermilk a little bit, though, mm -hmm. huh? You ain't gonna, When it's incorporated in with the meat, you ain't going to be able to taste it. Okay. It don't taste bad, mm -mm. but you could taste it. But what's the point in putting buttermilk on it if you don't put enough to where you could taste it? What's the point? So that's why I put enough, try to put that much on it. So you just kind of get work it in the grooves like this, y'all. Mm -hmm. You want to taste it again? Mama, you want to mm -hmm. taste this again? Mm -mm. Let me see. That's good. 
To me, it tastes a little oniony now. Not over there, the seasoning part. Yeah, taste it. Yeah. Don't it taste like onion soup? That's from the garlic. Girl, that tastes like onion that's soup. From, that's from the charred garlic. Okay. Okay, so that's what we got now. Now we get finna put aluminum foil on it and put it in the oven. We're gonna aluminum foil it, put it in the oven. How long should we put it in the oven? 30 minutes. Okay, so we're gonna aluminum foil it now. Mama said 30 minutes. What do y'all think? How long should they go in the oven? 30 minutes. Yeah, I know. I like to get their view, viewpoint. I like I like to hear what they're going to say. Okay. Y'all let me know. Not not New York steaks don't get tough. Uh, by the time you're, um, These the steaks time don't get tough. Okay. By the time the potatoes and your gravy is done, it'll be done. I am cooking smothered steak and mashed potatoes and great mother smothered steak, mashed potatoes and asparagus. And we got some croissants. 30 to 45 minutes. How about 30 minutes with aluminum foil on and 10 minutes, 10 minutes with them off, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. 30 minutes, aluminum foil on, 10 minutes with it off. Thank you. Okay, so here we go. This is what we got. We're going to put this in the oven and now we're just going to wait till the, uh, we're going to season the asparagus and wait till the potatoes get done. So I'm going to put y'all back here. Okay. And now we're going to put the steaks in the oven. Just like that. Okay. You going outside? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll see you in a little bit. I'm going to sit down. So we got the potatoes boiling. Mama, did you want to... Uh, Butter up, make the potatoes when you come back in? Yeah. Okay, mama gonna make the potatoes for me. She gonna make the potatoes for me. Oh. Woo, y'all, I'm hot, y'all. Now I'm getting hot. Woo, gee. Woo, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Okay. All right. So I'm finna sit down now. For a second. For those of y'all for those of y'all don't know, I'm pregnant, honey. And oh, Jesus. Your girl is tired. I'm tired. Just that little bit is like. And I'm hot. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Woo, thank you. Okay. Ooh. The baby's fine. The baby's fine. Mama's dramatic. <laughs> Mama said the baby's fine. The mama's dramatic. <laughs> she right? Yes, I am. I'm pregnant. I'm almost in my third trimester. Somebody said Fantasia pregnant. <laughs> stop telling lies. You better stop telling lies. <laughs> Water. Yes, honey. But I still, you know, uh, I'm, I might be pregnant, but I still do. I still get my stuff done. I still cook for my family. You know what I'm saying? I still cook for my family. And make sure y'all subscribe to my YouTube channel because we do stuff like this all the time. Um, I pre-record it sometimes. We have thousands of videos on our channel. It's not just me. It's my husband, my kids, my mom. Um, we have like prank videos. We got all kinds of stuff on our channel. We've been doing this for a while. So y'all make y'all sure y'all subscribe to our YouTube channel, okay? And thank you so much, um... Kendrill, Kendrill Tom Thompson. Let me show y'all these croissants we're getting ready to eat, though, with this food. Let me show you those. Mm. Mm. Bang! Baby, these jokers look so good. I ain't even ate or uh, opened them out the pack. We're going to eat these with it. So what we going to do, can you imagine this, like, dipped in the gravy? 
So we're gonna take these croissants, they make them fresh at the bakery. Fred Myers, they make them freshly, fresh daily. It literally says fresh baked in store. Um, and when I was picking them up, it said that they make them daily. So um, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna cut these in half because there's two, two, four. There's only four like big ones in here. So I'm gonna cut them in half and everybody get be able to get a half. So I just want a half, that's it because these got a lot of calories in them. And they're not really that healthy. But, honey, who cares? It's time to eat. Um, and so I got that. And then earlier to hold me, I ate one of these, y'all. Um, these are uh, chocolate-filled croissants. Chocolate-filled croissants. This bad boy warmed up in the microwave on 20 seconds with a cup of coffee or like an espresso or something. And I don't even drink coffee. But with this, I would. With this, honey, I'd go some gone over there to Bigfoot. Get me an ice-cold cup of coffee sweet coffee with a uh, uh, at the Bigfoot across the street, baby, and put this in the microwave, these in the microwave, honey, and have me a good old time. So I did eat one of these earlier, but look at them. Look at them. Chocolate, um, chocolate, they're filled, they're filled with chocolate, like dark chocolate, and they're croissants. But I would rather you warm these up. I would rather warm these up, okay? Warm them up. Don't eat them like this because they don't, they got chocolate in them. And so the chocolate's kind of hard, but yeah, so I did want to show y'all that. Let me go ahead and stick a fork in these potatoes and see how they doing. My mama's going to um, do the potatoes for me. So let me go ahead and stick a fork in them. Okay. Not done yet. Not done yet. Okay, so that being said, then we got these, y'all. Look at these big old asparagus. These the big, I love the big ones. Oh my God. These with some seeds, you see, put a little seasoning on them, put a little onion powder, garlic powder, a little bit of sea salt. That's all you need, you feel me? And um, fry these like sear them on the stove and some avocado oil, so good. And yes, I, I, mama said, you, wanna, you want me to wash all of them off? You gonna use all? I said, yes. Honey, we're gonna eat all of these today. <laughs> We're eating all of these today. Like, look at that. Big old huge bowl of asparagus. They finna be so good. So, but them are easy. So, I probably will go ahead and put them on. Mm. Once the mashed potatoes get like almost done, then I'll go ahead and put the asparagus on. Until then, I'm going to sit right here and talk to y'all for a little bit. I'm going to show y'all like the final looks of the steaks when the steaks are completely done. And then I'm going to let y'all go. So I'll sit over here with y'all for a little bit longer. Let me pull y'all up. Thank you so much, uh, Brianna. Brianna Alexander, new subscriber. Hello. Oh my God, you look like Fantasia. <laughs> Thank you so much for subscribing. No, I'm not her. It's my hair. It's, 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 it's my hair color and yeah, my features. You know, I know. Yeah. Where did I get my earrings from? I got my earrings from Forever 21, like four years ago. I got my earrings from Forever 21 like four years ago. <laughs> Happy birthday, Soraya. Happy birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday. May you have the sweetest birthday. I can't wait to my birthday. My birthday's almost here. I got two and a half months, y'all. I'm going to be pregnant for my birthday. Oh, God. It's nothing new. I've always been pregnant for my birthday. I was pregnant for my birthday with my son. I was pregnant for my birthday with my daughter. It is what it is. Here's what I don't want to be, though. I don't want to be pregnant for the 4th of July. Like, my, my due date is in July. And I'm like, I do not want to be pregnant for the 4th of July. Like, don't. I am cooking um, smother steaks and mashed potato, homemade mashed potatoes, and then some asparagus. That's what we're eating for dinner tonight. 
What's up, Ghana? I love Ghana. What's up? Shout out to Ghana. Shout out to Ghana. <laughs> yes, happy Sunday. God bless y'all. I pray everybody is doing well and that God will continue to protect and provide for y'all. Yes, I pray for every single one of you guys ain't coming in here. God bless all of y'all. My son is upstairs playing video games as usual. And then my husband and my daughter are outside in the back, in the backyard. Hmm. Somebody said I love cooking. I don't know. Like, I don't know if I love cooking, but I realized that I'm a mother and um, I have kids and I have a husband. And so it's important to cook as a mother. You know what I'm saying? But I, I wouldn't say that like I'm in love with cooking. Like there are a lot of other things that I love way more than cooking. I don't, I don't think I love cooking. I, I really don't think so. I like cooking, but I don't think I love it. Because if I did, I feel like I might have like my own restaurant or whatever, or maybe be selling plates and stuff like that, or maybe be like a caterer. And those are things that I literally don't want to do. I never want to be a caterer. Um, I never want to do catering. I never want to do my own restaurant or food truck i like it's i don't my son yes my son has a passion for cooking he wants to do all of that when he gets older okay he wants to have his own grocery store he wants his own grocery store and so um that that is for like my son and my mom but me i cook i learned how to cook because i'm a mother you know what i'm saying and i don't want my kids eating um and my husband every day eating a bunch of like garbage you know what i'm saying because if you don't really learn how to cook as a mother, you're going to your kids and stuff. They're going to be eating garbage all the time. You're going to be having a warm up like box food and put stuff in the microwave and in the oven. And I didn't want to do that because that's just very, very unhealthy to be eating that kind of stuff every single day. And I didn't want to be that mother. So I learned how to cook so that I could be a better mother. You know what I'm saying? And um, just take better care. Of, just take better care of us. That don't mean that we make the healthiest choices all the time, but that's primarily why I learned how to cook so that my family could have a home cooked meal, basically. Thank you so much, Dumbo. Nope, I would never want to sell clothes or jewelry. Like that's not one of my passions either. Never, never. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. I haven't told anybody, I haven't told anybody the gender of the baby yet, you guys, but um, a lot of people have guessed that it's a boy. A lot of people have guessed that it's a girl. Some people said that my daughter told that it was a girl um, or whatever. And so it's either one or the other. I haven't told anybody yet, but it's, it's either a girl or a boy. <laughs> mm hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. There you go. Where you got that mm, on your dinner on on your dinner on? Oh, that's a, a cutting board. The the um cutting board. That's a cutting board. We got that from McClendon years ago. No, was it years ago? Yeah, we got that from McClendon, y'all. I one day I was going through McClendon. Like just browsing through, looking for a cooking a cooking uh, board, and I seen they had a huge one. That's a, that ain't a, that is not a, like a custom made piece of wood. That is a cooking board, or did I say it right? Not a cooking board, a cutting board. Come on now, you know my brain my brain is pregnant, <laughs> and I literally almost just said you know my pregnant is brain. <laughs> it's not a cooking board, it's a cutting board. But y'all know I'm pregnant. Give me a little slack. <laughs> It's a cutting board though. It's not a um it's not like a board that we like custom made just to put our food on. No, it's an actual cutting board that we got from a Clendon like four years ago. And I think they pretty much still have it. It's pregnant. Yeah, pregnant brain, okay. But I, I I be trying not to say that I have a pregnant brain because 
I do make a lot of sense. And like, you need your brain. Like, when you do the stuff, when you, you know, do the stuff that I do, you you gotta have your brain. You can't be up here like, whoop do 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 do. Can you oh, you're gonna check? I just checked it, but you can check it again. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. No, I don't have brain fog. I I don't have brain fog. I just I don't know. I just said the wrong thing. Mm-hmm. No, I'm probably not. I, I told a lot of people that I'm probably not showing my baby for months. Um, and I even told my mom that if my family wants to see the baby, they can come over here, but I'm not sending out pictures or nothing. Me and God have a very I have a very close spiritual relationship with God. And when he tells me certain things, I, I have to do that. And so with my other kids, you know, I showed pictures immediately. But with this baby, I'm not doing that at all. Um, what really made me pay attention is because one day, I, like I said, I was browsing on TikTok, like on our TikTok channel. And I had uh, somebody had commented on one of my um, videos, on one of our TikTok videos. And they had a troll channel with a picture of my face on it to make it look like the channel was mine. The TikTok was mine. Then they had my son, my daughter. They had a picture of me and me pregnant, like my stomach, because I showed y'all my stomach pregnant. They had that on there too. And they were talking real trash about us. And all I could think about was, wow, if that was my baby, if that was like my freshly born, newborn child that they plastered and like completely disrespected, I would have probably lost it. And so I need to like, I'm, I'm protecting my child. Um, and so until I get to a point to where my emotions are more stable, because when you have a baby, your emotions are like, you like, you're very overprotective. And if anybody say anything about your child, you're going to be ready to flip like, what's up? You know what I'm saying? And so, and I'm already an overprotective mother. I'm already very overprotective of my kids. And so to hear any, if you're going to talk about my, my unborn child, talk about them, but you'll never be able to, you, you won't be able to see them. You won't be able to see them. And so, no, I'm probably not showing my baby for months. You guys probably won't even see my baby for months. And that's on and that's on everything. And I told my mom, if my family want to see my baby, they can come over here. If, but they're not, I'm not sending nobody pictures. I even told my husband, nobody's getting any pictures. Are we taking pictures? Yes, we are. Are we going to go and do photo shoots? Yes, we are. But they will stay in this house until I'm ready to, to put them out. And I don't owe nobody nothing. And so I don't feel no pressure to be like, oh, let me show my baby I owe them this. I don't owe nobody nothing. I pushed the child out. I carried this baby for not for 10 months. You know, I did all of that work. Nobody helped me. So that being said, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hog my child as long as I can. I'm going to keep my child hogged to myself, honey, just me. And I'm so happy because my son's going back to school. He's going to high school. I need some drain out. Right now already? I'm um, looking at Joe over there. My son's going back to high school. My daughter's going back to school. My husband works. So all day long, it'll just be me and my baby. I'll be able to nest. I'll be able to bond with my child and everything. And so I'll get the most impact and the most influence off of my child because they will be all that I know. They'll, I will be all that they know for like several months. And so I'm happy about that to just for it to just be me and my baby all day while everybody's gone. Just other way, mama. Me and my baby. Me and my baby. <laughs> Y'all don't understand. Like, I'm very overprotective of this baby because this is the first child that I'm having in, in marriage. You know what I'm saying? My daughter I had out of wedlock. My son I had out of wedlock. And I wasn't really even with his father. You know what I'm saying? And so this is the only baby that me and my husband, like, you know, was on the same page with. And, like, we was married. You know, we wasn't married when I got pregnant with my daughter. So this is the first baby that's like under God. You feel me? And like a blessing because. Do I need a bowl? Um, no, you can put it back in there and go ahead and do what you do. Uh, because uh, we wasn't me and my husband. We was me and my husband when we were dating. We wasn't trying to. Um, honey, we want we want to say we want to live and say we was out there doing all kind of stuff. Okay, honey, we was out there doing all kind of stuff. All right. So the fact that, you know, our kids are turning out wonderful like they are is only the grace of God because we was living a trash life. Like we was, we, we was, no, we was not, we was not living right. And so now I'm not saying that we perfect now, but we just mentally prepared. We're on the same page and um, 
we have a, a, a better relationship, you know what I'm saying? A strong foundation. And so I'm very, oh, this, this child is a reward for me because I never got on any birth control with my husband. Like we never got on any birth control. So the fact that that's unsalted, is that, that's okay. You can use this unsalted. The fact that I have a musher, if you want to use a musher, Where is it? it's in the, in the, in the thing. The fact that I got pregnant, mm -hmm. yeah, you can look, it's black. It's either in there or in the other one. The fact, the fact that I got pregnant, you guys, yeah, right there, uh-huh. Now, it's, that's a hamburger musher, but you could just use it real quick to mush it up, to mush it up the, uh, a little bit, and then use a wooden spoon to, to fit, finish it out. The fact that I got pregnant is like, a, a, for me, it's a reward, you know what I'm saying? Because um, we weren't necessarily trying to have any more kids, but we weren't protecting ourselves from not having any more kids. Like we wasn't, I, we wasn't using protection. We wasn't using birth control. So literally I just didn't get pregnant for the last six years. But then you have other women in their relationships. They're not trying to get pregnant, well, but they're. I'll tell you one thing that prank you did. Yeah, that's what called it. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> they're not trying not to get pregnant, but they end up getting pregnant every time they have, you know, relations with their husband or whatever. They end up getting pregnant. I wasn't like that. I wasn't trying to have a baby, but I wasn't not trying. Like we was, we was doing, we've been doing the same thing we've been doing for the last, since I had my daughter, ain't nothing changed. And so the fact that I got pregnant like six years later and I wasn't like necessarily not trying to me, that's a, uh, that's a reward. That's God rewarding me. Like, okay, I see you've changed. I see that, you know what I'm saying? You trying to be better. And so let me go ahead and. Bring the other one I got in the pipe. Let me go ahead and bring the other one out the pipes for you. Because I have this already in your destiny. I already have this written in the star for you. That you and your husband are supposed to have more kids. And so I see you're ready now. So now let me go ahead and bless you with those kids. And that's what I believe. And so that's why I'm so overprotective of this child. Because, And I will literally fight somebody. Burn your whole house down over my child. Because to me, it's a reward. Like uh, my other children are rewards, but they were rewards that I didn't know were rewards. I didn't know my kids were rewards. I thought everybody had kids if they had sex when I had my other kids. You know what I'm saying? But there are people out here that can't have kids, want to have kids, or they find it difficult. We didn't go to do no testing. Me and my husband didn't go like to go see no, um, uh, no, OB, no OB or no gynecologist. We didn't go see if our eggs were still good. We didn't do none of that. Literally, I just woke up one morning and boom, the baby was there. So for me, that was all God. Like, it, that was no other intervention. That was not a doctor. It was all God. You know what I'm saying? And to know that my womb, after six years, I'm 34. I'm going to be 35 in a few months. But to know that my womb was just still like, girl, your womb is fertile. Ain't nothing wrong with your husband's eggs. Y'all good. I'm just not giving you a child right now. It's like what God was saying. Like, you not ready and I'm not giving you one. That's literally how God was treating me. But he was right to treat me that way because I was a mess. Like, I know I was a mess. And um, my mama tell you, like, honey, I used to be heavily addicted to alcohol. Like a crack addict. Like every day I was drinking. Every single day I was drinking. And then when I would drink alcohol, I would chain smoke. I was a chain smoker. Could smoke a whole pack in like a few hours. Like it was bad. It was real bad. But God changed me. He been changing me. He's still changing me. I ain't perfect. I still pop off if you try me. And then I have to repent. But um, that being said, God has been working on me the last four years. God has been really working on me. He's been really working on my heart, working on my mind and getting me to where I need to be. And so I just believe that this is the year of rewards for me and my family because of how hard I've been working and how hard we all been working. And so, and this is the month of restoration. And so y'all better receive that word for yourself. And so just continue to work on you and whatever is due to you, whatever God wants to bless you with, it's going to come, but he just got to see you ready for that. So the next step is I want, I want us to have our own house. Like I want to invest in real estate. So God's like, okay, are you ready for real estate? Okay, do you know how to steward your finances? Um, you know, things like that. Like, how are you being a good steward? And so 
really God gonna bless you with anything that you need if, when he see you ready for it. So you could, you just got to show God that you're ready for that. You feel me? So that's why I believe I haven't had a child in the last six years, even though me and my husband were not, you know, necessarily not trying or trying. Like, I believe I didn't have a child those times that, you know, we've been getting down because God said you, I, he saw that I was not ready. And that's that's just how I uh, see it. That's how I see it. I don't know about nobody else's story. <laughs> but my story, that's how I see it. Yep. And so I'm going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and start these asparagus. I know it's probably been about 30 minutes since these steaks been in the oven. So we're going to take those steaks out real quick. Look at them. But after I start these asparagus, my mama already cleaned the asparagus. So we're going we're gonna to go ahead and put them on the fire. So let's get up. We're going to go ahead and put the asparagus on the fire. So let me get a pan. You wash this out. We got a big old pan here. I'm going to turn the oven back on. Would, would you agree, mama, that God just saw that I wasn't ready? What? I was talking about me um, getting pregnant now, and basically I wasn't trying all those years. I, went, I wasn't not trying. Like, I was doing the same stuff, but I just wasn't getting pregnant. Would you say that I got pregnant this time because God saw that I was ready? Or what? Um, I'm not going to say that you was ready. Well, he said that you are ready. I'm ready now, but for me, I feel like I wasn't ready back then because... Well, you didn't know you was ready. Right. But you was. Mm. You just wasn't stable enough yet. I wasn't stable enough. There. No. That part. That part. But that you, part. You was ready. He gave it to you without you even knowing. Because that's what he wanted to do. Exactly. I had no idea I was oh, pregnant. Shit. I had literally that's had what he no idea. To, that's what he wanted to do. I was like, what? People fail to realize you get pregnant, you only get pregnant if it's designed by God. You can just, you can hump all day long. You can you hump all day long. That don't mean you're going to have no baby. That don't mean you're going to have no baby. <laughs> yes. So then we'll be wore out. Look. <laughs> Mama know. Be worn out. She know. <laughs> so when people be like, wow, she seemed nicer now that she pregnant. That's because... I'm, I'm happy. I'm one of those pregnant women that are extremely that's happy. God, God is the only one to I'm not. Pregnant. I'm not depressed. You I'm not mad. Huh? You know, and it's like, I'm happy. Well, I, I love my. I love the fact that I have this. I love it. I love it. I love every minute of it. I don't complain. I love the fact that I'm pregnant. And so even when I have to do something like stand up for hours and cook for my family, pregnant, I'm gonna do it. Like I love the fact that I have this child. I love it. Love it. Love it. And we'll fight. Like, post up. Back up off of me and my baby. <laughs> Look, I'm going to be one of these mothers. Don't say nothing to my baby. Leave me. <laughs> Calm down. I'm going to be one of them mamas, honey. Like, don't say, what did you say? <laughs> You thought I was overprotected with you thought you thought I was overprotected with Elijah and Isabel. Wait till this one come. Sure don't, say no, don't say no. Don't say. Now look, I'm not. Nah, I'm just joking. I'm have to. I'm, I'm gonna have to turn the comments right. off. <laughs> Listen, I'm not. I'm. Be, I'm not interested in your opinion. I don't care what you think. Don't say nothing. <laughs> like the video and get off of it. <laughs> okay. The reason why you're so, the reason, I'm going to tell you down, I'm going to break it down. Like the video and it, shut up. I'm going to break it down in a nutshell. I'm going to break it down in a nutshell. The reason why you feel Woo the way, wee. listen, the way, reason why you feel the way you feel is because this is your blessed child. That's and what I all of the rest of them are blessed child too, but this is the baby that you got when you was born through all kind of habits. That's right. Mm -hmm. And so this is a blessing. When I was All ready. of them is blessing. But yeah. this is the one that saying that it's okay. You good. Yeah. Because you been through a lot. Now I'm the only sure one. Sure have. Hey. Mama know. You went through a lot. So. Mama know. Enjoy it. Yes. Yeah. I'm enjoying my child every morning. Enjoy it. I be rubbing it. Rubbing it. Enjoy it. Because don't nobody know your struggles. Right. Nobody no, honey. I'm, I'm, not, I'm like, I don't know who. Listen. 
when, when women be telling me they depressed pregnant, I can't relate. Right. I can't relate. I, I can't, love I can't being even, pregnant. I can't even relate to the postpartum. Cause right. We were, what's that? We didn't have that back in the day. Right. We didn't sure. have no postpartum. Right. No. We no. didn't have, we did not have no postpartum. The only no. reason why you have postpartum is because they stick the epidural up in your back. And they, and they have all them chemicals in it. Mama, they have you, Mama. I don't give a damn. Y'all don't, y'all don't worry about that. Don't, worry, don't worry about no that. Don't worry about that. I, Some I, women I, do have postpartum, I, 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 and it's only the grace I, of God I, that could keep you from I, not having I, 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 that. Okay. No, uh, uh, uh. Nope. And, that's, that's and if you that's if you did have postpartum, that's, the majority of women that's okay. That's okay. It's something in that chemical that they shoot in your back that makes you feel like that. It it it, it, it bounces off. It, you know it. Oh, hold on. It, okay, it, hold on. Hold on. That brings me to my last. Um, hold on. That that brings me to my last. Um, so if you're offended by that, we apologize. But because you know it's a real thing. But anyway, and it to, for me, it's the grace of God that will keep you not having that. You gotta pray. Shoot. You gotta okay? go through the pain. Ain't nobody. Ain't no nobody is nobody is exempt from having postpartum as a woman. Nobody is exempt. Every woman can go through that. I don't that. even know what that was. But you have to pray. 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 Okay. Okay. So let me say that. But I will tell you guys this. I don't know what's going to happen. But I will tell you this. Don't put too much in. Okay. Well, give me some, no, give me some chicken seed. Where is I will tell don't put too much in it, mama. Because we already had salt in the butter. And we got salt in the thing. That's enough. Teaspoon. I didn't even touch it. Okay, teaspoon. That's enough. Yeah, because we got salt in the steaks. But um, y'all, I will say this. Hold on just a second. Me, I've had two kids with epidurals. My son, it was okay. My daughter, I had, when I got the epidural, I kid you not, my feet were swollen for two months after I had my baby. After I had Isabel, my feet were swollen for two months straight. And I asked my doctor why, and they said it, it was, it's a side effect of the epidural. Mm -hmm. That made me, as a mother, and my back was hurting bad for a long time. That made me as a mother never want to get the epidural again. So I've been praying, asking God to let me do this natural. Girl. Every woman says they want to do a natural, Girl, do a natural and then they I get have... into it and they're like, give me the epidural. Uh -huh. <laughs> we didn't have that. We didn't have that. They we get in there and they be like, give me the epidural. Well, but Donita, Donita, we didn't have that. We had our babies natural. Well, can you wash this off for me? <laughs> so like, I can sit, don't open that. Don't. No, you're gonna wait till dinner. Listen, so you could, I could be like, yeah, I'm going natural, but it all depends on the grace. Like God has to give me grace to do it. God has to give me grace because labor ain't no joke. Now, I will say this: I will be filming my labor and delivery. I'm gonna blur the baby's face this out, but I will be filming my labor and delivery. Y'all will be, y'all will get to see that because uh, I want to uh, see. How crazy I am. Donita, I want to see. <laughs> a 10 pound baby. I ain't having no 10 pound baby. Oh, Terrell was 10 pounds. But my kids are no, never 10. No, I didn't have no 10. No, they I were not 10 pounds. 10 pound baby, no Epidora. Yeah. We didn't have that. Oh. We didn't have postpartum. Oh, we mama said that. that. She said that they didn't have We didn't that, have that. You know, what they, have you know what they gave us? What? Saline. Saline. Salt water to keep us hydrated. Well, give me some saline then. We anyway. went through the pain. Went through the pain. And no, my mom is not going to be there with me, y'all. She was She was there for my son, birth because I had had my son as a teenager. I was 19. So she was there because I, I was a child. Thank you, Miss G, for the $20. Can you wash that off for me? Give me that, mama. What? The, uh, the, the tongue. I did. Okay. She was there for my son because I was a baby. I was still a child when I had my son. She wasn't there with Isabel, but was born because I had my husband. Um... So she ain't gonna be there this year, this time either. Only my husband gonna be there. And we gonna push this baby out. We gonna push this baby out natural. 
We gonna push this baby. Well, let me stop. We gonna push this baby out natural, y'all. You know what? But that's the reason why I like. We gonna push this baby out listen. natural. We going listen. natural, baby, listen. natural. Listen. 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 Don't give me no listen. epidural. Listen. Listen. I'm going listen. natural. Listen. That's why. That's why a lot of some of these kids, these babies, come out with allergens, allergens and stuff. Oh. It's because whatever's in that shot. Yeah. Those are chemicals, and yeah. women are still having problems with their back. Yeah, Nine my months. back was hurting for a long you. time. Yeah, yes. yes. because they shoot that in your spine. Yo, I kid y'all not. My back was hurting for a long time. And so that medicine, they're shooting that medicine, those chemicals up in you, in your back. And then, and then as as time go on, that stuff don't wear off of you. It start it sends some type of chemical through your body, and it start making you be depressed. And it start making you feel like you don't want to be around. Yeah, I heard my making, mama. And it start making you be shunned away from your child. There's no such a thing. You was there when you was ready to have the baby. All of a sudden, you had a baby. You don't want to be around a baby no more. You prefer to be around a man more than your baby. No, I'm you. Uh, That's exactly uh, what these women. Not me. Mine is me in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Oh, I don't care. You please take okay. my baby. Hold on. Let me, let's, let me read this comment. Sandra said, I wanted to have my daughter without any medicine, but she was laying on the cord and it was wrapped around her hands and neck. When they unwrapped the cord, her hands were in a praying position. Oh, Lord. Oh. Jesus. So what did that have to do with you having a baby natural? So, oh, they had to, uh, did they have to give they you a C-section? You had to give a C-section or what? Now, we rebuke that in Jesus' name. Listen. Don't think I don't be praying over my delivery now, honey. Every morning, I'll be like the blood of you Jesus, the blood of Jesus. The steam? Yeah. I'll be like the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. Honey, I'll be praying over my baby before my baby. No. I'll be praying over my baby even though my baby's still in the womb. Like, Lord, I'll be praying over the hospital room that I'm going to get delivered in. Honey, I'll be, pray be praying over everything. Because, listening, listen, I understand. I, I, I completely understand. It's only the grace of God that can keep you. Of course. It's only the grace. You have to pray and ask God to keep you and your child because the devil will try you. You don't think he will? Honey, the devil will try you. I don't you. want you having your baby. He's walking around the room. Mm. He ain't going to be walking around my room. Yeah. Who room he walking around? Yeah. Devil ain't walking around my room. I'm going to come up in there with my Bible scriptures. I'm going to pin them to the wall. I'm gonna have my scriptures pinned to the wall. I'm gonna have my I'm gonna have my 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 word on yeah. and all of that. Yeah. It's gonna be nothing but peace. Right. Okay. Not with the blood of Jesus. All right. You need that. Yeah. It was peaceful when I had Isabel. It was peaceful. Isabel came out so doggone quick, y'all, that the doctor said, push. I said, uh, I could barely even go like uh. And she said, wait, 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 stop, stop. She looked, Isabel was out. I did not have, my labor went so quick with Isabel. Even though I did get the epidural, I still felt the pain. Because it wore off. It was real weak. That's why I think that I could go without it. Because with Isabel, the labor pains, they came quick. But then it was like, she came so fast. She just slid out. It was like my daughter just slid out of me. It was weird. It was so weird. But Elijah, he took all night. Honey, he took all night long. Woo, Jesus. Okay, we're going to put them on warm a little bit, right? Okay. Okay. We're good. Mama, them is cold, bro. I'm not, I don't, I don't, I don't want no, I don't okay, want but no you don't, you want, you don't want them scorch either. I don't want them scorch, but. All right, how about we put them in the bowl, put them in the microwave. Damn. Okay. Let me get a thing. But you ain't gonna put them in the microwave yet? I'm no, I'm not gonna turn it on, but I'm gonna sit them in there. Yeah. I'm gonna show I'm gonna show y'all the ma mashed potatoes my mama just made. Thanks, mom. This ain't enough. I'm just playing. You know how you be home when you real hungry, you be thinking you can eat all of this. Some, like this ain't a nice Gary Gold You know, I almost got the red ones, and I was like, you know what? I think these would be nice and pretty. Some nice Gary Gold titties. I, I was when I catch his tongue. Get out. Get out. What? Oh, girl, that been like that. That like that when we moved in. 
you don't think that's on my movie and inspection? It sure is. <laughs> sure is. And you won't charge me for that. Surely won't. So, here with the mashed potatoes, Yukon gold. We just gonna put them in the microwave and let them, we're gonna let them sit in there. We just gonna let them sit in the microwave and then I'm gonna check on the steaks. Okay, so let me pull this back some. The steaks is done. I know they're done. Okay. So we're going to check on the steaks, y'all. Y'all ready? See what the steaks is looking like. Let's turn on this. Where am I? Oh, there it is. Asparagus is doing well. I'm going to show y'all up close in a minute. good oh yes honey this look like a country fried dinner <laughs> so now guess what i'm gonna do y'all these steaks are done your girl getting ready to turn the temperature up we're gonna turn it on broil because we just want to brown i just want to brown the top of this that's it let me show y'all what we're working with i just want to brown this top the top of this that's it look at that we got the smother steaks. Smother steaks right there, y'all. Smother steaks. Yes, honey. Look at that. Got the steaks looking all good. These are New York strip steaks. New York, New York strip. We just want to brown them. They're already done. They've been in the oven for at least an hour. But we just want to brown them. I want this to get nice and brown on the top real quick. So I went ahead and... We're going to put the oven on broil, preheated to broil. And we're going to leave it in the oven for like three to five minutes on broil and take it out. And it's done. We, we good. These, look, you see, it's, you see, that, that's a little blood right there. Even though they've been in there for a while, that's still, that's a little blood. See that? But they done. They're going to be nice and tender. So they're not overcooked. They're not overcooked. That's blood. They're not overcooked at all. But they've been in the oven for a whole hour. Mm-hmm. Yep. So we got that. And then we got the asparagus right here. Steaming up. We got the asparagus. Got them steaming up nice. Yep. And then we got the mashed potatoes. Then we got the mashed potatoes. So we got the mashed potatoes. We got the smothered gravy, smothered steaks with gravy. And we got the asparagus. We got the oven heating up to 500. Now we're going to put this in the oven, back in the oven for three to five minutes just to brown it nicely on top. And we're good to go. Yes, that is blood. Y'all, the steak's been in the oven for a whole hour. And look, there's still blood there. That's crazy, ain't it? That's crazy how it's still blood there. But they've been in the oven. Y'all been sitting here with me. Y'all know I've been on here for at least an hour. <laughs> so that's crazy to me. But it's cool. I'm not tripping. You know? I don't mind a little, a little blood in my steak. That's that extra iron, baby. Get your extra iron. So, okay, we're going to put it in here. I'm going to put it in the oven, y'all. Ooh, we got to warm up the croissants, too. Let me get the croissants. Okay, so we're going to set the timer to five minutes. We're going to set the timer to five minutes, and we're going to go ahead and let it broil for five minutes. Okay? All right. 
We got some cleaning to do too, cause it's a little dirty up in here now. We got dishes everywhere. Um. Oh, I should have put some, hold on real quick. We gonna throw some red pepper flakes. I need a little bit of spice. So we gonna throw some red, um, we gonna throw some red pepper flakes on top of the steaks real quick. Ooh, careful. Isabel, stop screaming. We're going to throw a little bit of red pepper flakes on here, okay? We need a little bit of spice. We're going to throw a little bit more inside of the asparagus as well. Then we're going to put them back in the oven. y'all i gotta check my daughter because she got me twisted with all this screaming The, asparag the asparagus is done. Come on and help me set up. This is how I like my asparagus, just like that. With a little crunch. So they're done. Mm. Yep. We did pray today. Mmm. Help me clean up, please. And then outside, and put that in some water. Mm. You. We put you. I'm so you. Put the container in the water. Okay. Okay. So then, ooh, ooh, it's doing lovely. It's doing lovely. Here we go. So then we have the croissants. I was gonna put these in the. You know what? Let me stick these in the air fryer. Then we had a croissants. Croissants. We're gonna put them in the air fryer. Only for like two minutes. Elijah, come on, set up, set up, set up. We ready to eat. We ready to eat. We ready to eat. You ready to eat? Ready to eat. Ready to eat. Ready to eat. Ready to eat. The baby's ready to eat. The baby's ready to eat. The baby's ready to eat. <laughs> the baby's ready to eat. The baby's ready to eat. The baby's ready to eat. Be quiet. There you go with your mouth. Running it like a sailor. Uh, wipe the cabinet off. Wipe the cabinet off. I don't think I like it. I think you do. I don't care what you think. Okay. Yes, the baby's hungry. So, let me see. Ouch. Emma, you're only one. 
I looked at it, y'all. It's not dark enough for me. We're going to leave it in there just for another maybe three minutes. Smother steak. Do what you're doing and, and stop worrying about what's going on over here with me. Ooh. Tell Clifton we ready. All right, y'all. I'm getting ready to let y'all go. We done. Oh. It's been wonderful. I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. Whew. Everything ready, y'all. Oh. Go wash your hands. Okay. Wash your hands. Uh uh, don't go that way. Isabel, go around the other way. Well, y'all, that's it. I love y'all so much. This ain't even on. They good. They fine. They good. They hot. Nice and hot. Oh. Okay, y'all. Well, I love y'all so much. Thank you so much. Um, I love y'all so much, and I'll see y'all later. So I just showed y'all all the food. Make sure you, if you're not, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel because we do mukbangs, and so we sit down as a family and we eat our dinner. So I do record eating my dinner, uh, us eating our dinner at the at the table, and we've been doing this for years, so it's nothing new. Um, also, I am going to be putting out a short. So for y'all that like to look at short videos, I'm going to put together a 60 second tutorial that's going to teach you how to get this. And so we're going to taste it, make sure it tastes great. And if it tastes great, we're going to, even if it don't taste great, we're going to put out this short 60 second tutorial tomorrow. And we're going to let you guys, um, I'm going to tell you guys what to do, what not to do and how to get the perfect smother steak. For your family, mashed potatoes, and we got the uh, the asparagus and the croissants, okay? So y'all have, a, it's 6, 12 p.m. now, so it's definitely dinner time. Time for us to sit down and eat and um, relax the rest of the night. Okay, I need to take a shower, take this makeup off. But anyway, love y'all so much. And God bless all of y'all. You guys have a wonderful day, okay? Y'all have a wonderful uh, Sunday evening. I'll see y'all later. Make sure y'all subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're not. Love y'all. Bye, y'all.